Classic Tales, Level 3, The Little Mermaid, retold by Sue Arango, read by Jennifer J. Myers, published and copyright Oxford University Press, 2011. This is the story of a little mermaid. She lived with her father, the king, her grandmother, and her five older sisters. The sisters were all beautiful, with long hair and tails. The little mermaid was the youngest, and she was very beautiful. There was a garden with wonderful flowers and trees. The little mermaid played there with all the fish, and she was happy. But one day, she looked up and asked, What is up there? What is above the sea? A sea of air called the sky, said her grandmother, and fish called birds can fly. The people up there have no tails. They walk on two legs on the ground. Oh, said the little mermaid, I want to see the sky, the birds, and the people. Not now, her grandmother said. When you are older, when you are fifteen. At last she was fifteen. She swam up at once and she saw a ship. She swam near to it and she heard music. There was music and dancing. Then she saw a young man, a prince with wonderful eyes. He laughed and danced with his friends. He was sixteen years old, and it was his birthday. Oh! said the little mermaid. He is lovely. Suddenly, the sky went black. It's a storm, shouted the men on the ship. A storm! The sea was black and angry. Water came up onto the ship, and it began to break. Help! shouted the people. Help! And they all jumped into the water. The little mermaid looked for the prince. He must not die. Then she found him. His eyes were closed, and he did not move. But he was alive. She put her arms around him and swam with him. She took him to a beach and left him in the sun. Then she waited. Soon a young girl and her friends came and found him. Nobody saw the little mermaid and she went back to the sea. The little mermaid thought about the prince. She asked her grandmother, How long do people live up there? Down here we can live for three hundred years, said the old mermaid. Then, we change to water. People only live for eighty or ninety years. 
but their souls do not die when their bodies die. Their souls fly up to the sky. Oh, Grandmother, I want to have a soul. It's not easy to get a soul, she said. A man must love you and marry you. But that can never happen. You're a mermaid with a tail. The little mermaid looked sadly at her beautiful tail. Three hundred years is a good long time said the old mermaid. Let's be happy. Let's dance and sing tonight. The little mermaid danced and sang beautifully, but she wasn't happy. Perhaps the sea witch can help me, the little mermaid thought. So she swam to the sea witch's house. You love a man, laughed the sea witch. And you want legs. All right, I can make you a magic drink. But listen... You can never be a mermaid again. The prince must marry you and give you a soul. Without his love, you die and you are nothing. Give me the drink, said the little mermaid. Give me your voice said the witch. But how can I speak to the prince with no voice? asked the little mermaid. Speak with your eyes, she laughed. Then the witch made the magic drink. The little mermaid was afraid, but she wanted the prince very much. So she put out her tongue, and the witch cut it off. The little mermaid swam up by the prince's palace. She drank the drink and felt a knife go through her body. In the morning, the sun warmed her face. She opened her eyes and saw the prince. She wanted to speak to him, but she had no voice. So she looked at him with her beautiful eyes. Who are you? the prince asked. She smiled at him, and he took her back to his palace. She walked beautifully. But walking felt strange to her. The ground felt worse than knives under her feet. Everybody looked at her because she was very, very beautiful. I like this strange girl, the prince said. She can stay with me. So she went everywhere with him. And when she walked, the ground felt worse than knives under her feet. But nobody knew. At night, she put her hot feet in the sea. Come home, sister, her sisters called. But she did not go. She loved the prince. Do you love me? Her eyes asked him. 
I can love only one girl, he said. She saved me from the stormy sea. That girl was me, she told him with her eyes. But he did not hear or understand. One day, the prince took the little mermaid onto a big ship. Lots of people from the palace came, too. We're going to visit a king across the sea, he told her. My father wants me to marry his daughter. But I cannot love her, and he cannot make me marry her. Oh, he nearly loves me, she thought. So perhaps one day he can marry me. That night, her sisters swam up. She wanted to tell them how happy she was. They came to a very big town. The king and the people were happy to see them. There was music and dancing every day. They waited and waited. At last the princess arrived, and she was very beautiful. It's you, the prince cried. It can't be. You saved me from the stormy sea. Oh, how happy I am. Then the little mermaid's heart broke. The prince married the princess that day. The little mermaid smiled for him. She wanted him to be happy, but her eyes were sadder than any girl's eyes can be. Without the prince's love, the little mermaid had no soul. She must die and be nothing, only water in the sea. That night, she danced beautifully, but, ah, she felt a thousand knives under her feet. The prince and the princess went to sleep. The ship was quiet. Only the little mermaid did not sleep. She looked to the east and waited for the sun. Then, she saw her sisters. Sister, they cried. We cut off our hair for the sea witch. She gave us this knife. Put it into the prince's heart before morning. Then you can come home to us. Quick, it is nearly day. She took the knife and went to the prince. How lovely he was! She threw the knife into the sea, and then she jumped. The morning sun was yellow on the water, and she was nothing. But then she flew up and heard music. We are the children of the air, the voices sang. We help people for three hundred years. Then we get a soul. You are good. So come, you can get a soul. The little mermaid looked down from the air. She saw the prince and the princess. They looked for her in the sea. Don't be sad, she sang. Live, 
Live well. The prince looked up. The air was new and wonderful, and the morning sun was warm on his face.